Hi. Now, for this next part, we're told that the point D lies on the line AC, and it's such that AD equals BD. And the region R is shown shaded, and it's bounded by the lines CD, BD, and the arc BC. And in this part, we've got to show that the length of AD is 5.16 centimeters to three significant figures. So if you haven't done this already and want to have a go, I'll give you just a moment to pause the video. Now to, to do something like this, knowing that I've got to find a length from a non-right angle triangle, it's going to be either the sine rule or the cosine rule. But to find a length using the cosine rule requires that I know the other two lengths. So I only know one of the sides, so not the side BD. So it's going to be the sine rule. And for the sine rule to calculate a length, like AD, I've got to know the opposite angle to AD, and I've got to know the opposite angle to the side AB, this one in here. But knowing that AD and BD are the same length, it means that we've got an isosceles triangle this angle here must be 0.95 radians. So to work out angle ADB, let's just mark it in, angle ADB, then that angle is going to be the third angle of our triangle. And we know normally it would add up to 180 degrees, but we're working in radians, so the equivalent in radians is pi radians. So I now have to subtract two lots of 0.95 radians. And if we work this out on your calculator, you'll find you get 1.24159 and so on, okay, radians. Now, we need to move on then to the sine rule. So if we just put a little intro here, we can just say by the sine rule then what we have is that the length AD compared with the sine of its opposite angle, which is this one here, the sine of 0.95, is exactly the same as comparing another side, in this case 6, with the sine of its opposite angle, which is the one ADB, the one we've just found here. So it'll be the sine of 1.24159 and so on, okay? And if we rearrange this, we therefore have the length AD will equal this fraction, because what we're going to do is multiply both sides by the sine of 0 0.95, and it's going to give us the sine of 1.24159 and so on, multiplied by the sine of 0.95 radians. Now it is important that you check that your calculator is in radians mode because it's very easy to trip up with something like that. So assuming that you're in radians mode, AD will equal 5.1574 and so on. And we're asked to round this to three significant figures and if you do that you end up with 5.16 centimetres to three significant figures, 3SF. All right.